He says, I want everything. <laughs> he says, I want your children. He said, I want Zimpetu. He said, I want your call. I said, what? I'm there. I'm so vulnerable. I can't say no. I'm so, I'm so vulnerable. I'm so in love. I'm so in the throne room. I'm so in the presence, so thick the presence, so thick the presence that I can't say no. And I'm saying, God, but God, I picked up hundreds and hundreds of children under bridges. I brought them all home. They all call me mama. I'm not, I don't want to let them go. I don't want to let somebody else care for them. I don't want to do that. And I'm in heaven, and I'm in the throne room, and I'm in the glory, and he says, I'll have those children. And I, I don't know what that would do for you. It wrecked me. I sobbed and I sobbed and I sobbed till my eyes swelled shut. I said, God, here, 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 here. He said, I'll have everything. I'll have all the good. I'll have the best. I'll have everything. He said, if you will wholly surrender your entire life, your entire heart, your entire soul, your entire being, then I will do what I will with you and I will take you where I want. And he said, I'll have everything. And after that day, he said, now go into the darkest places in the Muslim province. Hey, last week, I'm in there. It was great. I'm in there in this dark province. We're not very slick. We have a little light bulb hanging there, and we're on this truck where we preach from. And we're trying to preach, you know, and it's this huge crowd of Muslims, and most of them are drunk. And suddenly this black mamba snake's coming in to bite somebody. And the Lord said, you go there and kill that snake. So I take a big, big old piece of wood and I smash that snake and I smash its head off. This is not a vision. This is what happened. <laughs> hey, I said, you are not going to hurt any of these people. You're not going to take anyone. And I smashed that head snake, that, that head of that snake right off. And I thought that must be prophetic. Because there's some kind of authority you have to walk in and tread on those serpents. Hey, do you know, this is so awesome. Do you know what happened? People started pushing. And they started screaming, and they started yelling, and they're pushing, and they say, give us a church. Put a church in our village. They've never had one Christian witness, one church of any kind, of any Dozi Apostolos, and nobody, nobody, no Catholic, no Dozi Apostolos, no nothing has ever been in that village. Not one Christian witness, not one thing. But guess what happened? About a month before, somebody was dying in that village, and they said, we heard down the road, hey, there is this church, a church where Jesus lives, and if you go there, you'll be healed. Hey, well, what did they do? They walk with this guy on their back, totally full-on Muslims, put the guy on their back 16 and a half kilometers down a dirt road in the bush bush. When they get there, they drop the guy on the mud hut church, and he's healed. So they all get up, and they walk 16 kilometers back to their village who has not one bit of Christian witness, and they do this every week for one month till we arrive. And so they start screaming, we want a church. 